Hi everyone, my name is Nicolas Chelan. I am the former Chief Architect and Special Advisor for Cybersecurity at the Department of Homeland Security. I am now the CTO at Proven Bridge, helping federal agencies and corporations with their cybersecurity and DevSecOps challenges. With the widespread adoption of DevOps around the world, containers and container management solutions are becoming prime components of your crown jewels. In our previous video, we introduced the complete DevSecOps stack from plan, develop, build, storing artifacts, test, secure, deploy, operate, monitor, and finally, to scale. As we outlined during the overview video, security must be a key part of your DevOps pipeline, making it DevSecOps. Now that you are adopting containers, you must find the right container security solution for you. There are several options out there, including Twistlock, Qualys, Aqua, Tunable, and more. So how do you pick? To select the right solution that will work for your DevSecOps stack, here are some of the features you should pay particular attention to. First, visibility. One of the most important aspects of any cybersecurity architecture is gaining visibility of your assets. When it comes to containers, existing solutions are usually blind and only see your hosts and their processes. Select a solution that can provide a complete inventory of your containers, container images, and don't forget your hosts. Hosts run your containers and if a bad actor were to gain control of one, it could control your entire container stack. Pay particular attention to solutions that can monitor rogue containers by looking at signatures and image drifts. Don't forget to monitor your Docker Swarm and Kubernetes slaves and masters. Ensure that the solution can ingest your container's metadata so you can search or filter your container's inventory by labels and tags. A great dashboard will make all the difference. It will allow you to consolidate your container inventory, container images, access control, logs, and your compliance and vulnerability management. Most solutions allow you to filter by severity so you can prioritize accordingly. Of course, another key aspect of container security is continuous vulnerability management. Ensure that the solution you're leveraging can use both signatures and behavior-based technologies. Some solutions are also introducing active threat protection and firewalling. Scan your containers and container images, including your base images. Base images can introduce tremendous risk to organizations if they are used prior to checking them for vulnerabilities. Don't forget to monitor them during updates as well. Getting visibility on what OS, libraries, and processes are running on your containers is critical so you can monitor for drifts and rogue software. Don't forget to leverage compliance and vulnerability management agents or credential scans on your hosts and Kubernetes nodes so you can get proper visibility on those too, even if they are deployed automatically by your cloud provider. Moving to containers will give you the opportunity to properly store configurations and embedded passwords and keys into secrets. Reduce your container attack surface by selecting the right base images and installing only the necessary libraries. Do not forget about the principles of list privilege and need to know by leveraging proper access control, particularly when it comes to privileged access on your container hosts and container orchestration solution. You can also leverage control groups and namespaces to segment your container deployments. Use a private or trusted registry and sign your container images. Most solutions will allow you to curl it and consolidate your container logs, giving you the necessary visibility. Since the current state of your container security will be crucial to making decisions during your continuous integration, continuous delivery, CI-CD pipeline, you will need to ensure that it can integrate with your existing CI-CD orchestration solution. Many have plugins for solutions like Jenkins. 
You also want to ensure they can give you access to a very detailed set of APIs so you can leverage the information as you see fit. This will ensure that all information can flow seamlessly into your scene. Most solutions support Kubernetes deployments, can run as a sidecar container and be deployed into your Kubernetes nodes as a daemon set for perfect scalability. If you deploy containers to solutions where there is no host or cluster like AWS Fargate or Azure Container Instances, ensure the solution supports those by embedding its security controls into the container images during build. Finally, if you want to check out cybersecurity best practices for Docker and Kubernetes, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, has created a special publication 800-190 Application Container Security Guide, and the Center for Internet Security, CIS, has worked with the community since 2015 to publish a benchmark for Docker and more recently for Kubernetes, so be sure to review its recommended security controls. As always, this was a lot of information. Are you feeling unsure about selecting the right solutions and building your DevSecOps stack? Don't hesitate to reach out. We can help. Thank you again for watching, please comment, like and share this video.